Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Well, in particular, today I am talking about watch wonders, and in particular, I am talking about watch wonders from the brand Mosley. Now, you would have seen that sponsored icon pop up a little bit earlier in the video, and that is because today's video is sponsored by Mosley. Thank you so much for Mosley to reaching out to me asking if I would like to see one of their products in person and they supplied this watch wonder free of charge. I do not have to return it. So today I'm going to be talking about a single watch wonder from their collection that I picked out, the one that really stood out to me within their range and a watch wonder that I think is quite interesting to have a look at. If after watching this video on this Mosley watch wonder you are interested in picking one up for yourself, well I will leave some links in the video description that will take you directly to the Mosley watch wonder website as well as I'll leave some links to Amazon because you can buy them through Amazon as well. Now they are not affiliate links, I've not been paid for this content, I just have received a free watch wonder. If you are going to buy one, they cost 98 Australian dollars plus shipping, and that is through Amazon. And there's a few options available on their store as well, as well as on Amazon, both these single winders plus some multiples in different versions, different materials, and some really interesting things to check out. Now, Mosley reaching out to me was really well timed because I was actually quite interested in getting my hands on a watch winder. I've been interested in getting one for a while. I had never sort of gone through and bought one purely because I actually quite like interacting with my watches, winding them up, having them on wrist. But recently I bought a watch which sort of changed my way of sort of thinking about watch winders, thinking about actually wanting to have a watch winder. And you'll see in the watch winding now I have my moon phase glycine watch. And that is because having a moon phase complication does add another couple of steps to actually keeping that watch up to date. And if I'm not wearing that watch every single day, that moon phase will drop out of the cycle so having a watch winder in my collection now to be able to have my glycine in is absolutely perfect so Mosley thank you so much for the well-timed offer about this watch winder now guys if you are enjoying my videos please I would really appreciate it if you just tap on that subscribe button and let's flip the camera around now and let's check out this watch winder so Mosley watch winders, what are we getting in the box? Well, firstly, obviously we are getting a box and it shows on the box the four different versions you can choose from. There is a carbon fiber black version, black, brown, which is the one that I chose today, and this very nice vibrant orange version. Watch winder, 100% handmade, a few little specs here, and probably the thing that I'm most interested in is, is that it is an extremely quiet machine and it is anti-magnetic, so that is fantastic to see. It is made in China. I guess most things nowadays, especially when it comes to technology, is made in China. So nothing too concerning there. And that's the rest of the box. But let's check out what came inside the box. Well, inside the box is the watch winder itself inside here. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's go through the other little bits and pieces. We have a little polishing cloth, which is always nice to have. Always good to have an extra polishing cloth. We got a nice detailed instruction manual with a few different languages. Um, there are some details in there that may be worth reading if you are so inclined. However, what I do like is that they've got a quick guide here. But I always like it when these things come with a quick guide like this one. So you don't actually have to read the instruction manual. You just need to check out this one little piece of paper. Shows you the two pillows that you can utilize. Shows you how to use the buttons that are on the back. Shows you how to fit it and shows you how to power the unit. And inside this little white box, we have the additional pillow. So there's two actual different styles of pillows to choose from. So that's pretty cool. We have the power cable. Obviously, being in Australia, that is the Australian plug there, and we have the uh, the series cable. This means you can get multiple units of these and series them together, so you can have multiple being powered by the one power socket. But all that aside, we actually have the watch winder here, which is the thing that we are mostly interested in. And what I have to say, the first thing that stands out to me is the quality. It's actually really well made. And I do particularly like that this is like a milled aluminium, and it really does feel like a little bit of quality. This is a PU leather. It's obviously not real leather, but it is sort of presents very well. The stitching is very nice. I'm very happy with the, the quality of it. In fact, it's actually a better quality than I expected. On the back here, we shows our different power options. Firstly, we have the option to use batteries, which is a great option. And we also have a power option. So we can obviously plug it into power. And then there's an out section here, so we can series them, put them in a series if you've got multiple versions of these. 
two different buttons here with the options of what we want it to do when it moves. We can have it clockwise, anti-clockwise, or both. And we've got a different speeds here, one, two, three, four, and five. And this little quick guide does actually tell us how this works. Depending on the speed, depends on how many turns per day, from 650 all the way up to 1500 per day how many minutes per hour that they are actually turning versus the rest time in that hourly cycle. So that's great to have those different options available for your watch. Now inside here, this screws off, really does feel quite good. It has like a very shiny piano black, very nice with the Mosley symbol there. Inside we have the first option of the pillow that we have available. It has a little bit of a carbon fiber looking thing, uh, felt, and it is squishy. So the idea is when you put your watch on, you squish it down, squish it, and then put it into the winder. The other option is to utilize this pillow, which is just a nice squishy pillow as well. And just to show you how this thing works, firstly, I'm going to be using batteries in this today so that we don't have extra cables hanging out. It shows you that the batteries work very well in this unit as well. But I'm going to be utilizing two watches within my collection that I think are probably the best watches for a watch winder from the watches that are in my collection anyway. Firstly, we have my Glycine Combat uh, Moon Phase. Great idea for a uh, watch winder to use this one because of that moon phase. Now, I don't wear this watch every single day, so it does occasionally stop on me. Normally with watches, that's not a big deal. I can hand wind. I can then adjust the date. However, a moon phase, it has a monthly cycle and trying to adjust that every time I wear it is a little bit painful. So I think this is a watch that I'm going to be utilizing this winder with quite frequently. Secondly, I have my Seiko Samurai Save the Ocean. And the reason I want to use this is for two reasons. Firstly, it's quite a large diameter. This one's a 44 millimeters. But secondly, I have it on a strap code bracelet, which really increases the weight of this watch. This watch weighs, with this bracelet, about 190 grams. So it'll be nice to see how well this winder handles a heavier watch on a nice solid bracelet. Well, let's use both pillows just to see how both work. I'll use this pillow with my glycine and the squishy one over there with my Seiko. Uh, well, that's nice and easy. I guess I guess we're just gonna throw it into here oh that's nice and easy I guess and what I do like I like how this is a screw-on feature and it really does feel quite substantial being a uh, sort of a completely aluminium feature now turn it on let's pick which direction we want I'm gonna say clockwise I'm just gonna leave it at the first speed oh, and there we have it winding away and the thing that I really wanted to sort of test with this one is how loud it is now let's have a listen yeah, there's a very light noise going on. If you bring it up a little bit closer to the speaker, you can sort of hear a very minor noise. But I have to say, I'll agree that is, that's pretty quiet. I wouldn't be complaining about the uh, loudness of this at all. But let's check out the other cushion and on the heavy watch and see how well this copes with that. Okay, so this one we just squish down, stick the watch on it. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Stick it into the winder. This one is substantially heavier than my uh, glycine, so it'll be interesting to see if this one copes with that just as easily as it did with the lighter watch. Yeah, well, that seems to be working perfectly fine. So I'm going to say overall, I'm really impressed by it. The quality of it, the materials used, the functionality of it, it's nice and quiet. I do like that there is the option for batteries because that's probably what I will be using in the future as I continue to use this winder. It is good to have power outlets, obviously, but it's nice just to have the neat and tidy, no sort of cords dangling down. I do particularly like this uh, aluminium. It's quite nice and nice and well presented as well. And I can certainly see it would look quite cool to have a few of these in different sort of positions, sort of displaying your watches as well as winding them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again to Mosley for providing this uh, winder for me, both for this review, but also for my personal use. And I do intend to be using this one, especially with that moon phase watch. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next video.